America's youth abandoning church, with nearly 30% having never attended them. And this is from a Christian Headlines report, so since this is the most popular story, we're going to cover this as well as the other Christian headlines in this report. So the story that we're going to be focusing on is from Christian ChristianToday.com. Significant minority of young people never attend a religious service. A new poll suggests that nearly 30% of high school and college students never attended religious services even before the coronavirus pandemic caused many churches to cease in-person services. Young America's Foundation, a conservative youth advocacy organization, released a poll Wednesday asking young Americans for their views on various issues. So let's just dive a little bit deeper because I think this this uh, story, no thank you for that. Dive in a little bit deeper into what's going on here. So they released the poll on Wednesday, and uh, the poll released in partnership with Town Hall was conducted by Echelon Insights. A total of 801 high school students and 819 post-secondary students between the ages of 13 and 24 were surveyed online from March 30 to April 7. The survey asked respondents, ah, you know what, hold on, hold on for a moment here. Let's just get, huh. Well, we got a little. Oh, okay. The survey asked respondents before the COVID-19 pandemic, how often did you typically attend a religious service? Overall, 27 of respondents said they never attended a religious service. And among high school students, 26% said they never attended a religious service, while that number rose to 28% among those out of high school. Now, that's that's strange. You would think it would be the other way around. You would well, if the trend was going one way or another, you would think it would be the college students that would have a lower number, the high school students, higher number. So maybe there's some quote-unquote encouragement there. Nearly one quarter, 24% of young Americans said they attend church services at least once per week, including 28% of high school students. However, weekly religious attendance was significantly lower among post-high school students, 19%. You know, you think about you know the, the so-called... Uh, no true Scotsman or the genetic crowd. I, I don't know. I always confuse this. Maybe they're the same thing. But the idea that you are basically what you're born into is, is mostly true. In Christianity, as I've uh, been reading scripture and uh, over the years, and I've come to know the faith more and more through living it and reading it and fellowshipping and whatnot, it's, it's not really a faith for the, the, the weak at heart. It is a faith that is easy to adapt in some sort of superfluous way if your culture around you is fundamentally quote-unquote Christian. But as the culture changes, as less and less people look to Christianity as some sort of legitimizing force in society, then it becomes harder and harder to choose Christianity because the closer you get to, uh, in my humble view, authentic Christianity, the further you get away from the heart of the earth, which is ruled by death. And that is how, how people have ruled the earth from the time that we began to build civilizations in the first place, where we we rule with a threat of death is essentially how we rule, and we capture audiences and we keep them contained through death. And when you have a society that openly embraces quote unquote Christianity, you 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 could have in many instances, not in all instances, but in many instances, you could have a a false Christianity, a Christianity that truly is a, a genetic, if you will, Christianity, not a Christianity of the heart. And during times like these, as societies turn away from Christ in, in America, in Europe, and other places, meanwhile in other places they're turning towards Christ, you will find that you will have a great quote-unquote falling away. I'm doing quote-unquote a lot in this report, but so be it. So I am not surprised at all that as a culture falls away from using Christianity as some sort of legitimizing force, often in a way that's not even intended for Christianity, that those that do not believe, that those do not have not counted the cost, will find that they, well, they, they can't, they can't, they can't walk into the faith because the cost is too high. The cost is not social advancement and social approval. It's social ostracism. So we lose people. And that's 
to be ex- ex- expected. Some of the other headlines for the Christian Headlines report here. How the WMAP satellite confirmed nucleosynthesis pr- synthetic synthesis. Well, I can't say that word. Nucleosynthesis predictions and falsified atheism from wintrynight.com. In a post-Christian culture, there's no good way around being the baddies. That's a from ChristianityToday.com. How do you imagine ideal, an ideal Christian society? An interesting post from Reddit.com. Chemical abortions by mail is cruelty to women and girls. News.yahoo.com. The very false dichotomy between evangelism and discipleship from Christianity Today. And a little bit from the left here, uh, even Ro- Pat Robertson. Yes, Pat Robertson comes down on the side of police reform. I saw that video and I'm glad that he made it. And finally, Christian YouTubes, Christianity from Reddit.com, another interesting post from Reddit. And there you go. That's your, I guess that's essentially what has ended up being our top story because this story is over 400 views already and it's only been out for about 30 minutes or so. So as of the timing of this uh, recording. 